Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an online survey to evaluate salon services. Think of me as a hairstylist. I'm starting to offer salon services by sending my team of experts to the customer property. I see that the customer counts on visiting a salon are generally low after a worldwide pandemic as per the research I did. To understand this, I need to take a quick survey of the customers who have visited my salon. I'm using Quiz and Survey Master plugin here to create a good online survey. In this video, I have created a dummy WordPress website using NCWP. It's one of the finest platforms to create disposable websites to test your ideas and tools for free. Here, you can build a quick WordPress website in no time by just clicking a button. I have already installed the QSM plugin on the website. To learn how to install and configure QSM plugin on your website, click on the information card in the top right corner of this video. Let's start by creating a survey form. Number one is to hover over QSM, then click on Quizzes or Surveys. Once you click on Create a New Quiz or Survey or Add New button, we'll see a collection of themes for the survey. QSM is a collection of stunning themes, but I don't require a theme for this survey. so. Let's go with the default theme and click on Next. Now, on the Quiz Setting page, we get an option for the initial setup of our form. I'm setting a new name for the form and selecting what kind of form we are using. You can even set up a time limit on your survey, if required, and you could select if you wish to show your survey to only logged in users. In my case, I don't need those. So, I'm just skipping those and clicking on Next. Now comes the add-on page, where we get to see the most popular add-ons of QSM. You could select any add-ons as per your requirements to add more features to your forms, quizzes, and surveys. Currently, I don't need any feature add-ons, so let's click on Create Quiz. We have reached the Questions tab, where we can enter our questions for our customers. Let's start by entering some questions into our survey. Heading to the first one, Let's see which gender visits my salon. After entering the question, let's choose the type of question on the right-hand side. There are about 15 question types which we could select based on our question's nature. Currently, I'm taking the multiple choice type question here based on the nature of my question. I'm marking the question as required so that the question can be skipped. You can skip this step if you think that answer to your question is not required. Then click on Save Question. Our first question is saved. Click on Create a New Question at the bottom of the Questions tab or click on the Duplicate button at the top of the Questions page to duplicate the same type of question. In the second question, I want to check what age range of people have visited the salon. Let's set this as a number type question so that customer could only mention an age. Moving on to the next question, I want to check what kind of services the customers use to have before the pandemic. I'm selecting the multiple answer choice type question and let's add some options for the question. Now on the next step, I want to see if the customers want to have the same services at their doorstep. Creating this as a multiple choice horizontal type question so that our users can select the suitable answer amongst the given choices. Fill in the options and then click on Save the Question. Now comes the last question. I want to know if the customer would want to add a different experience to the doorstep service of my salon. I am selecting a paragraph type question here so that customers would write a detailed information for me. Alright, all the questions are saved. I want to see who's responding so that I could understand better and avoid any errors in my data. For that, I'm setting up a contact field to collect the details of the customer. Click on Add New Field and let's select the field type and label it as Name. Let's add another contact field to take the number of the phone. Let's select the field type and label it as Phone Number. Then click on the Save Contact field. Let's do a quick preview by clicking on the preview icon at the top right corner of the page. As you see, we have successfully created the salon evaluation survey and it works just right. 
That's all for this video. How do you plan on using QSM plugin? Let us know in the comments section. Stay tuned for new tips on using QSM plugin. Until next time, stay safe. Bye bye.